Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Taimah Devara, attribute number four, L'Sheris Nachlosai, which means that Klal Yisrael is the remnant of Hashem's inheritance. And the Taimah Devara explained to us as a result of us being the relatives of Hashem. We're like His offspring. We are His flesh and blood, so to speak. We are His siblings. We are His children. We are His spouse, we are completely related to Hashem. As the Torah Devar explained from different verses and Chazal, therefore Kodesh Baruch says, how can I punish the Jewish people? If I punish them, I myself am going to be in pain. It's like the parent who is going to punish their child, and as they're giving them a patch, they're spanking them, they're telling the child, you should know this hurts me more than it hurts you. The child will never believe such a statement. But the parent who feels completely bonded to the child, because that child is their flesh, their blood, their offspring. They see themselves in the child. They raised that child. They were there in the middle of the night for them, sleepless nights with them, running to the doctor, paying so much money, in the labor and delivery room, all the pain that they've gone through, and so on and so forth. That parent is so much connected to that child that really the DNA of the parent is in that child. So connected that when the child has to be uh, in a punishing mode in order to discipline the child in the right way and they have to smack them or give them a, a patch or a spank or the like, or even, they, even if they, they're going to be from the parents that will not raise a hand, but rather they will discipline them in a way where they'll punish them or give them a consequence. The parent says, it hurts me more than it hurts you. Because we are so intertwined and connected with each other. It's like me who's getting punished over here. It's like me that is suffering. It's me that is in pain. And that's what it says. I too am in pain. That Hashem was unable to endure the pain of Klal Yisrael. HaKadosh Baruch cannot endure their pain and their shame, Mibnei Shem Sheris Nachlosa, because he's the remnant of his inheritance, meaning we are, Klal Yisrael is, we are the offspring of Hashem, we are the DNA of Hashem, we are the molecular construct of HaKadosh Baruch we are the same flesh and blood of the, as the Rebbein Shalom, and therefore he says, it pains me when it pains you, it hurts me when it hurts you, it bothers me when it bothers you. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, how can I punish? The same way is how a man should be with his fellow Jew. All of Jews are relatives with each other. Because our souls are intertwined. They are bound together as one. Each and every Jew has a portion of another Jew's nesham inside of his. We're all, it's all one massive neshama. This is the language of the Kabbalists. There's one massive neshama of Klal Yisrael. And, each, and it was like divided up, so to speak, into each and every one of us. But a piece of me is in you. It's like when you have a, a glass of water. So all of the water is combined in that water. When you drink a sip of the water, it's not just the water from the top of the glass that you're taking, but there are molecules of all of the water inside of everything, and all the water is interconnected. So too over here, all the neshamas are one. They're all interconnected with each other, and therefore you are part of me, and I am part of you, and she is part of her, and he's part of him, and every single Jew throughout the world has a piece, a little chilek, a little spark of ourselves in everybody else. So we are completely interconnected. Therefore, so that's why he just brings down parenthetically. There's no, there, you cannot compare when a lot of Jews do a mitzvah together, meaning because since everybody is doing the mitzvahs together, that's more and more than the shama being reunited with each other, that's much more powerful. When, when that gigantic neshama that once was is coming back and fusing together as one, that means that there's more of a power and an, an, an impact behind every mitzvah that we do. Because of and all this is because the souls are all combined. 
and the shamas are all intertwined with one another. And therefore, the main point that he's making over here is, is that just as HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a hard time meeting out the punishments, because each and every one of us is like a part of Hashem, so too, since that all of Klai Yisrael, we are connected and enmeshed with each other, it should be hard for one Jew to punish, to get angry and be cruel with another one because we're all one. If I hurt you, I'm hurting me. If I don't take care of you, I'm not taking care of me. If I am belligerent to you, I'm being belligerent to me. If I'm egregious to you, I'm egregious to myself. And therefore, says the term of Devara, we have to learn how to be sensitive to this idea of how connected we really are. And if we would feel that, if we would know that, we'd be aware of that, we would live that, we would treat one another in such different ways. Have a wonderful day and a freilich in Hanukkah.